This is Airspeeder, the world's first electric flying race car. With the rise of drones and electric vehicles, a louder aeronautics are at the forefront of the electric revolution and are using competitive motorsport to push the boundaries of air racing. Flying cars are part of the future we've been promised for so long. Progress has always been hastened by the very human requirement to compete. It was racing that drove the technology further and built the acceptance around those vehicles. There is this feeling, and it's like, what is next? Now we're doing the same thing with flying cars. Alouda strives for a human piloted vehicle, but there is still more innovation ahead. The journey toward this incredible technology hasn't been easy. From prototype problems of the Airspeeder Mark II to car calamities at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. The redesigned Airspeeder Mark III was allowed as first designed to be built to full scale, capable of carrying up to 150 kilograms. So, after months of testing, refining their designs and training new pilots with augmented reality tracks, the Airspeeder electric flying car was ready to be unveiled to the world as the launch of the Exa Series set up a remotely piloted race between three experienced electric VTOL pilots. Zephatali Walsh. Part of this process of learning how to fly is to inspire in my son an appreciation for technology and what humans are capable of doing. Fabio Tischler. What I like most about Airspeeder is that they are constantly pushing the limits. And this is very similar to me as an FPV pilot as I always try to push my personal limits as well. And Lexi Jansen. Making a new sport that has women and men in it, that's not like just a trophy girl probe type of a thing, that's a big one for me. But how does the racing work? Between two to ten remotely piloted aircraft race in close proximity through a three-dimensional circuit, using pit stop locations to swap batteries. Airspeeders use virtual force fields to avoid collisions and cutting corners. Race environments range from harsh deserts, frozen tundra, tropical coastlines, and everything in between. This is the future of motorsport. As the Exa series got underway, and they're off. There were plenty of thrills and spills. That's taken Seth by surprise. Unbelievably close. What a move from Fabio. Wasn't able to recover it. That's really unfortunate. Stop, stop, stop. We have an aircraft here. Zefatali Walsh pushed his airspeeder to the limit, pulling off some risky manoeuvres to secure victory in both races. Zef and Team Silver cross the line first. Oh, amazing opportunity, guys. This is the huge team effort. Like, all the people that it takes to get this thing happening is just amazing. For it to end up in my hands, it's a huge privilege. <laughs> The sport continues to grow and has captured the attention of one of the most notable family names in motorsport, Bruno Senna. Serving as an Airspeeder ambassador, Senna will also race in the next Exa Series. Alouda has started work on the Airspeeder Mark IV, their first vehicle to be controlled by an onboard pilot, redesigned from the ground up to be hydrogen electric. A new dawn of racing and transport is approaching, and it may be coming sooner than you think.